this one I wrote. Uh, we were on the road. This is a band called Brother Jed back in 1997. Yeah! And uh, we made it to Colorado. You know, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, you know, you, you make it out there, you know, you feel like you're doing something. Somebody booked some shows for us out there. I didn't even have to book the stuff. We were in two separate vehicles. Kind of sucked, but caravanning. But anyway, yeah. We made it out to Durango, Colorado. We played two nights. Part of the deal was uh, that we had lodging, you know? So we thought, you know, hotel, right? Nah, we're not a hotel. It was a trailer that was about 15 miles outside of Durango in the middle of absolutely nowhere. It had no electricity. It just smelled like must. And we found our, we did find it. We were literally lost in Durango. That's the name of the song, Lost in Durango, figuratively and literally, uh, for about an hour until we actually found the place. And when we found it, we were like, oh, shit, this is where we're sleeping. And there were no lights, and it was really cold and sort of moist and sort of... I put my clothes on and curled up on this weird mat, like futon mattress in this bedroom. And I woke up the next morning and there's a poster of Pam Anderson <laughs> above the bed. <laughs> and uh, I remember thinking like, you know, it feels really good to be out or like we're doing something, but at the same time, like, what the hell am I doing out here? So I wrote this tune uh, that morning, basically, and it's called Lost in Durango, and 25 years later it finds its way to the Dulcetar. Dulcetar. Thank you, Patrick. How do you, how do you pronounce your last name? Jeroman. Jeroman. Yeah, Patrick Jeroman, right here, folks. This is a Jeroman.
Thank mm -hmm. you. 